So its first activity asks you to go through the sieve of Aristosthenes. Now the way this works is it's going to help us find all our prime numbers. So I circle 2 and then I'm going to cross off every multiple of 2 and if I see what ends up happening I end up crossing off entire rows here of numbers because they are all even. They're all divisible by 2. Then I go to my next number, which I'll change color. There's 3. So now I'm going to go through and cross everything that's 3. I'm just going through here. And I'll pause this. And now I'll go in and do 5. So I'm going to change my color again. So here's 5. And I'm going to go through and I'm just going to cross off any 5 that's still here. Which is only going to be this column. And I keep going. Next would be 7. And then be 14, 21. You start to see you get a lot of overlap as you start to go through your numbers. So I'm going to pause it again as I go through all my 7s. Now after I cross off my 7s, what I should notice is that I have 11, 13, 17, and 19 for sure. And, and I can think back about my numbers here. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 11 is 22, and 2 times 13 is 23. So all these numbers that are left, when I think about just multiplying what primes I have together, come out as being prime because there's no other two numbers I can multiply to make them. So when I look at them, all these numbers that are left are our prime numbers. And it's because what we've done here is we've gone through and crossed off every composite number and how it's made of of two composites or two primes so that nothing left can be composite. So I don't need to check anything else because these are just the numbers I have and these are all my primes now.